Hello, I'm Jane. I'll be talking about semiotics in film theory today. Without further ado, let's just start. Film semiotics is an analysis of the sign process or of any sort of action, behavior, or method involving signs, including the development of meanings as these signs apply to moving images. Semiotics is first invented by Charles Sanders Pierce and Ferdinand de Saussure. They published as course in general linguistics. It's the study of signs or how flow signifies. It's a way of understanding how meaning is conveyed through the various methods human beings employ to convey the message. Physical object is signifier while psychological is signified. There are three types of signs, which are icon, index, and symbol. I will be using iPhone as our examples. Icon usually has a physical resemblance to the signified or the project being represented. A physical iPhone is an example of icon. It tells you what it is through its physical appearance. When it comes to index, index shows evidence of what is being represented. When you see the series screen, you know that it is a feature in iPhone which also represents iPhone. For symbol, it has no resemblance between the signifier and signify. People will learn them under culture. Also, people will use the symbol to analyze what it is trying to signify. Moving on, five systems of code are used in this theory. This is common to use in horror and drama films. It allows the audience to question certain aspects of films. This is the opening scene of The Conjuring 2, which contains the Enigma code because it is full of mystery. <sighs> it is about the signs that portray characters and settings with meaning. These signs include speech, clothing, movement, and gestures. The bouncing pigtails of Harley Quinn is one of her most defining physical characteristics. The pigtails show the childlike innocence. This innocence can also be seen when she blows bubblegum. The multiple colors of her hair also match her multiple personalities. The action code are the actions that are mean to the progression of story. Like from this poster, we can see that the characters look panicked and behind them are fire and smoke. We can guess that the genre of movie should be horror and action. Symbolic code makes the audience to know who the characters are, are they good or bad, protagonists or antagonists from their body language, dialogues and settings. Below is a scene hey, in the film trailer of The Fort in Our Star. Sorry. You can know who are the main actors okay. and actors from there. I'm Augustus Waters. I've been in remission for about a year and a half. Maybe you'd like to share some of your fears with the group. My fears? Oblivion. Cultural code consists of cultural elements in the film. It can be sexual orientation, religion, nationality, race and more. Pujirich Asians reveals that Asians have the stereotype that the couple's family background must match with each other. Are your parents academics as well? Uh, no. Well, my dad actually died before I was born, and um, my mom didn't even go to college. She actually hardly spoke any English when she immigrated well, to the you United States. But she worked really hard, and she studied, and she earned her real estate license while she was waiting tables to support us. Now she likes to say that she's Flushing's top real estate broker. Self-made woman. She must be so proud of you. In Ip Man, it shows that the Chinese martial art which is Wing Chun. Semiotics in film theory is basically the systems of sign. It uses varieties of ways to bring out the meaning to the audience. Alright, we have come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye!